discussed what the types of the components were in a residential design system. If you haven't seen the video, go down in the links and watch it. But in this video, we will discuss hot, sinful and polygons relationships between the sequence of spaces. Yes, it's getting hot in here. Architectural spaces are in a constant relationship with each other. Most of these relationships are of convenience. You know, we need entrance lobbies to act as holding areas for a large amount of people who are either entering or exiting a building, for example. So, the sequence of spaces is determined by the function of the space alongside other factors. But we're not going to get into those at the moment. So let's get back to our residential design system and talk about the spaces in a house. A house has more or less the following components. Um, bedrooms, toilets, living room, kitchen, storage, um, Pretty much, but I'm sure I'm missing a few of them. To discover the relationship between the spaces, we need the magic box. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of the evening. Are you ready? everything on the side and look at the possible combination of spaces that can come out. You see, all components are in a very uncomfortable relationship with each other until the relationship is clearly defined. Communal to communal, private to private, Communal to private or vice versa and, and you know we put transient in the mix and crazy stuff started happening, right? You know what we just did. So this is the next step when you pick single elements, combine them together into uh, modules. Alright, so you don't remember the components, modules and units, right? Okay, let me recap. The component was the room. Module was a combination of rooms. And a unit was a combination of modules. Arrangement of components into modules depends upon an inter-component spatial relationship sequence. You see, all components are in a very uncomfortable relationship with each other until the relationship is clearly defined. We've, we've just defined all the possible combination of relationships within our residential design system. 
Other possible variations? See around me. Interesting, huh? So, thinking in modules makes it easier to think about the combination of spaces. Combining those modules together in different combinations create interesting units, different units. Straight shaped, L shaped, H shaped, and so forth. But it's so interesting that I'll make a separate video about that. New love. But in the next video, we go deeper into planning grids and try to make grids great again. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. That I can tell you.